Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we are taking a look at this brand new 2024 Vibe 31 HB travel trailer. This is a hidden bunk room travel trailer, two slide outs, fiberglass exterior, a lot of great features. Let's hop on into the inside, check her out. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 Vibe 31 HB. And as you've seen on the floor plan that was up, this is kind of a rear living room, front bedroom unit. And we are gonna actually start up here in the front. And we'll kind of work our way to the back for you. So up here is gonna be your master bedroom area. So you have some overhead cabinet space. There is some shelf space back in behind there. Decent amount of overhead space. Some soft close hinges on some of your cabinet doors. Has that kind of little leathery wedge pillow up there that you can move around as you need to, depending on what you're doing in here. Little folding chair right here is gonna go back into the little hidden bunk room for a little desk area if you're gonna set it up that way. There's storage underneath the bed and even some little cubbies under here as well. Electric outlet, USB charger port on both sides of the bed. Now there's TV hookups up here along with prepping for a King Wi-Fi Connect that you can do aftermarket for internet service. This was ordered with second AC, so it's got a drop-in Coleman AC right here. A decent amount of room to maneuver around in here. Right here, we're gonna have kind of a closet area has this little hang down kind of shoe bag, but you also have a little closet rod up there. Motion light in here as well. Electric outlet down here also. Hanging closet over here. Have little magnetic catches on some of those door handles as well. Window over there also opens. got kind of a cool little pivot hinge door here to get you in and out of your bedroom area. Window in the hallway does open right there. Pretty much all vinyl floor throughout the RV. And just outside the master bedroom area is going to be the bathroom area. So you have a nice vanity mirror there. There are controls for your on-demand water heater, electric outlet, little sink area, some counter space, and storage below. Got a vent fan up top, skylight above your shower. It's basically a step-in shower, ABS tub surround, pull across vinyl door. You do have the uh, porcelain foot flush toilet down below. There's heat and AC both in the bathroom. That is nice to actually be able to come in here and be somewhat comfortable when you're using the old porcelain throne and not have to worry about sitting in an oven. Some of these RVs don't have AC ducts in their bathroom and it's kind of crazy to me that they do that. You have a traditional entry door and screen door here. It does have the window in it. Uh, one thing that they do a little nicer though, it does have this little uh, uh, spring assist, kind of like pull close when it's actually open. Here you're gonna have some of your controls for awning, slide, lights, 12 volt tank heaters for cold weather camping. Uh, another slide button over here, tank monitors, two ACs. If you do two ACs, you'll have two thermostats here. One works the propane furnace also. All right, back out here to the kitchen living room area. You're going to have some nice hang down pendant lighting. There's also a skylight up above just trying to let in some more natural light for you. Solid surface countertops in this area. Electric outlet on the side here. High rise spring sprayer faucet. 
propane leak detector down below. You also have storage underneath the sink area. Now, over here on the slide area, it's going to have a little pantry set up. Got that extra mini fridge down below there. That's pretty cool. Quite a bit of extra counter space there. This window's a little different from the rest of the windows in the RV. Has a built-in pull-down shade or a pull-up nightshade. And then it actually flips out, kind of giving you a little bit of a way to hand things outside easier. Uh, if you are one of those that people that park this thing permanently, build decks around them, you know, it's kind of cool, little serving window out that uh, has like little adjuster arms over there. We can raise it up higher if you want to. Little theater seat setup going on right here. Now these guys do also put the little LED uh, light strips on the bottom there and a little ring around the cup holder as well. There is a little flip up and down armrest here. There's a USB charger port there, but just kind of flips back, giving you a little more room to sit there. Window behind that opens as well. The windows on the back part of the RV back there. Look at that view. Nice large windows there overlooking the rear and campsite area of your RV. Now, instead of doing a traditional RV dinette that you see in most RVs, they kind of set up a little bar area back here. So you could maybe use this as like a little workstation, uh, use it as a dining area if you wanted to. There's electric outlets and USB charger ports over here and also over there. They do provide you uh, currently with four of these little uh, bar stool seats here. I kind of pulled one out there so you could see what it looks like a little better. Now here is the little hidden room. So this is kind of a bunk area for your kids, or you could maybe turn it into another office area. Now you have electric outlet, USB charger ports down there, and then you also have a little flip up desk there as well. Windows in here open. So just kind of looking down below here, there's a little step area right here to get you up to that top bunk. You also have some shelf space down here. Window down there again opens. Kind of the same setup up here. Now this top bunk right here, you can actually flip up and latch into place if you wanted to make some more room. There's also TV hookups over here as well. And you can kind of see there's a little vent that comes down through there to kind of help put some air down through here. And also a, another vent over here as well. So that is the Vibe hidden bunk area right here. Just a big old swing cabinet door. Still have some storage area here and down below. Have a large 50 inch TV, has an FM radio built in, Bluetooth connectivity as well. Furion 30 inch electric fireplace here. You can see that main Coleman ducted AC right there as well. Over here, we're going to have more pantry space. We have that 10.7 cubic foot Furion 12 volt refrigerator right there. Furion oven, three burner cooktop, flip up and down glass lid. The window behind there also opens. And then you have the Furion hood range light and fan, Furion microwave as well. Again, pre-prepped for that King Wi-Fi. Also equipped with a solar panel on the roof with a 30 amp charge controller. I believe they're currently using a 200 watt solar panel, if I remember correctly. All right, I wanna step back outside with you. I wanna show you around the outside of the RV. We'll be right back 
on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Vibe 31 HB here. We're going to start here to the door side, kind of work our way around for you. So first things up, we have a white fiberglass exterior, aluminum studded foam block insulated sidewalls. You have a lower black metal skirting. You have some vinyl decals on the outside. You're going to have deep tent safety glass windows. There is a large pass-through storage compartment on the front of this thing. Light switch for the front cap light, motion light in here, little uh, cork board there so you could maybe stick some things on there if you want to. Power front and rear stabilizer jacks. Just underneath the front section, here's also the portable freshwater tank drain. Two awnings on this RV. Both are power awnings. Both have manual overrides in case of an electronic failure and adjustable arms for tilting. Your main awning here does have an LED light strip. You also have two outdoor speakers. Traditional RV entry door and screen door, again, has that little spring assist to help it close uh, the screen door part of it. You have the large folding entry handle to get you in and out, and you have the heavy duty more ride entrance step. That step's rated for 500 pounds, comes down, touches the ground, has adjustable feet, so it doesn't rock and shake the RV as bad when the kids are running in and out compared to those traditional hover steps that are only rated for 300 pounds. Now, another thing you'll notice when you're looking at a Vibe that's a little different than a lot of RVs is it has what they refer to as a wide stance axle system. They are spread further apart, supposedly making it more stable when traveling down the road versus a close together center point. So you have drum brakes, easy lube hubs, aluminum wheels. There is also a cable outlet and electric outlet right there, so you could Plug in a TV outside on a nice day if you want. Back here in the back, again, power rear stabilizers. You have your button for that. Mounted on the back is your spare tire. Mount with cover. You also have a four inch squared tube bumper on the back. A lot of people like to store their dump hose in there. Does have an arch to the roof there, so it's a little bit better for water runoff. You also are prepped in the top left corner for the Lippert portable stow and go ladder. And you're prepped in the top center up there for the Furion rear observation camera. Really nice camera system you should consider. It allows you to see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road or backing into your campsite. The slide outs are 12 volt powered slides. So as long as you got a good battery charged up, you should hopefully be able to run it in and out. There are manual overrides in case of an electronic failure. They'll go over that type of stuff during your demonstration. You do have a uh, furnace exhaust out here, small storage compartment right here as well. There is the stove exhaust vent up there. There's gutters that run down both sides of the RV with the larger three inch gutter extensions to help push that water away. You have your on-demand water heater located right there gray galley and black water all dumps out right here this again was ordered with two acs so it has a detachable 50 amp electric cord right here a little docking station area right here so you have city water and black tank flush you have your cable satellite inlets gravity fill fresh water winterizing hose motion light 30 amp go power charge controller for the solar system here. Uh, this looks like we got another electric outlet over here. Bypass for winterization stuff, outside utility shower. Basically has a little hose that comes with it here as well. Cr couple crank handles also. The baggage doors held up by little magnetic holders. Oh, we almost forgot the stickers. The very important informational stickers right here, folks. Production date, 12-11-23, model number 31HB. Gross vehicle weight rating, 9,915 pounds. That's axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. It don't exceed that. 
Tire size, ST225 75R15 E-range tires with an 80 PSI cold. Make sure you keep up with that. That is very, very important. One of the most neglected things on an RV. But just down here, you're gonna see the dry weight sticker telling us the RV is 8,174 pounds. You have an exterior length of 36 feet, 11 inches. Also, while we're here, check out, it is a BAL huck bolt frame. Basically, um, a lot easier to repair in case of accidents. It is a bolt together style frame by BAL. Heavy duty three quarter fiberglass front cap. And as you can see, it has a really nice roll back to it. It's nice and sloped back, trying to make it a little bit more aerodynamic. Uh, it's not that traditional flat front RV. A little bit uh, diamond plate down below. Got a light down here. 220 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator. Power tongue jack with the light built in. Manual override. Two and five sixteenths hitch ball. Heavy duty safety chains. Does have the little holder on the side there. So you can put your little seven way uh, plug in there along with your clipping your safety chains to it. You got a battery disconnect back there. Room for one or two batteries, depending on the size of the batteries that you go with. But overall, very nice, kind of unique, hidden bunk room travel trailer. All right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my RV videos. Really do appreciate it. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you don't mind. Help me out. And also, check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. Help yourself out and save a lot of money. Thanks again.